when I first started on this uh, journey of OCD, you know, I felt um, I had dreams that were probably warning me about its coming. You know, you ever had something so dra dramatic in your in your life that um, before it happened, you had a kind of like a premonition, kind of a bad feeling or a bad dream, and you just say, "Oh, it's just a bad dream or a bad premonition," or you know. I'm just feeling bad because of something else, gas, whatever. And then later on down the line, the experience happens and you feel, well, did that have anything to do with it? Mm -hmm. You know, I recently had, and well, not recently, but I had it years ago. You know, I dreamt, and sometimes the way I see my OCD is how I saw that dream, how it appeared in my dream. I really think that it was trying to represent OCD. I mean, OCD is like a monster in and of itself. And I know Bill had talked about this today. We love to ascribe living features to an illness. You know, like as if cancer was like a, uh, a dinosaur or something ravaging, you know, a city of people. Right. You know, I mean, that's really what you, you ascribe to illness. I always believed OCD was kind of like, like a, like a tarantula. And I'm very afraid of tarantulas. And I believe it likes to spin a web of lies, of rituals, of imprisonment. Because that's what a web is for, technically. When a spider catches its prey, it's not meant to leave. It's meant to be stuck there. And then it wraps it up even more before huh. it kills it. So you think about a spider. Well, a tarantula, you know, by its behavior, they're shy of humans. They don't want anything to do with us because we're bigger than they are. Right. So obviously a tarantula, you know, is going to look at you and say, nope, and run away. Um, but, you know, when a tarantula is killing its prey, it has venom. It has so many ways of taking it down. It, it can create webbing, and very strong webbing at that. You know, they live. that's why they live in caves in the desert, live underground, really, I think. I think that, yes, they live underground. I'm not sure about caves. I'm pretty sure they do live in caves, but they live underground. And the way I see OCD is like a tarantula. It's like a creature. Or you can see it like, um, you know, Batman, like Man Bat. <laughs> like a creature of darkness, you know. It's a creature meant to inspire fear. And, you know, I'd seen creatures like that in one of my dreams, and I kept wondering if that was like a warning sign, you know. But I really believe a tarantula is really a huge representation if well, I was going to give it an animalistic representation of what OCD is like, because a tarantula has eight legs, and it can do some pretty devastating crap sure. with eight legs, with eight legs, and it has deadly fangs, venom, and webbing. I, I it's meant to bind. I feel like any, uh, you know, what you know, whatever it's trying to kill. I feel like uh, when when we finish this piece and. We have it all together. I would love to, you know, contact the International OCD Foundation since they were participating so much in it. Uh, you know, maybe somehow coordinate that with their uh, yearly conferences. And if that doesn't work out, we'll just rent the space. <laughs> yeah. And take a risk. Yeah. Well, I think it'll work out. I think they'll do it because, you know, its founder is a doctor himself who treats OCD. And usually in those cases, doctors understand, you know, a little bit more than, you know, a complete outsider would, than just someone who runs the, you know, runs it like a goodwill charity. It's more than just a goodwill charity. Right. It's to educate people, too. Right. And that's what this film aims to do, to educate people. That's what we've always been doing, really, with any of our films. Yeah, that's is about true. educating people. Um, we're educators at heart. You know, we're not just storytellers, we're educators at heart. So I think, um... We got a great sense of humor, but uh, we, we get into some serious topics here. Yeah, we do. We do some heavy-hitting topics. Mm -hmm. Like farting.